everyone and welcome to Crazy About Disney. If you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot. Today, I am at the Avante uh, Palms Hotel. They're going to have another Funko Pop Con today. Here we are inside of Funko Pop Con. There is a lot of Funkos. As you can see, a lot more Funkos than last time. They have a lot of these really great pops. Look at this uh, Diamond Edition Mickey. Oh, the glitter on that is great. That's a that's a pretty good steal for 25. They do have the black light Alice in Wonderland pops as well. The new set from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Here's Cogsworth. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. Down here we have some mixed ones from Avatar the Last Airbender and Demon Slayer. Fire Lord Ozai, which looks really cool. Flocked Inosuke. So basically what I'm looking for right now is any Labyrinth or Batman the Animated Series Funko Pops because those are really, really cool and I love them both. I found a whole box of uh, sodas. Um, they have a lot of Sorcerer Mickeys, Mad Hatters. Um, trying to find some other stuff, but we'll see. Got one that I haven't seen in a while. There is Chef Figment, which is pretty cool. They also have a Luca from Hunter x Hunter. There is a Think Geek exclusive Upside Down Will, which is pretty cool. That's for 20. I got him Bill and Ted. Uh, he's gonna flip out. Um, so we'll see on with his uh, reaction later on. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I lucked out. It's gonna be exciting. Can't wait. <laughs> I didn't film much, but hey. Well, that's okay. I mean, you know. But the first time doing a Funko Pop Con filming for my channel, so link will be down below in the description. I'll make sure he puts it there. <laughs> and if he doesn't, I will. Uh, we are checking over to Palm Comic real quick just to see what they have. And uh, the topic is hot. Why did I think you weren't gonna say anything stupid <laughs> and then it happens immediately? He knows me too well. <laughs> that is true. There he is. <laughs> we both got a parking spot at the Florida Mall. This person, what a sad reality we live in. And society. <laughs> there is no parking at all. <laughs> Here is Hot Topic, so let's see what they got. So here is the pop selection at Hot Topic right now. Uh, they actually told me that the Stitch expired this morning. They do not have any more uh, Stitch with Boba. Expired? <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is gone. Go. He is, That's the word he's, go for he's, is expired. He's really? gone. He's gone out of the, he, he <laughs> let, he's left the building. Um, but they do, still do have the scented uh, Yeti. Which seems very tempting. I did find this. It's an Among Us crewmate figure. That is different. That guy looks very sus to me. Oh my. Wow. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything that I would have liked to buy. Um, they did not have the Stitch with Boba. And. I would have automatically bought that um, and or a couple of other things but right now we're going to box lunch and uh, quickly browsing and seeing what they have one of my favorite stores is box lunch so you definitely think we're gonna go here and check out what they have and this is box lunches uh, selection but they don't have a lot of uh, exclusives except for this Princess Tiana right here which is very nice and then they also have Ariel with the Eric statue as DJ is displaying very 
very nicely. I might actually try to get this one for a friend of mine. It's a it's a nice pickup. Also the She's Carl and Ellie um, <laughs> box lunch, and that one is the balloon cart. But I mean, a lot of the up pops they sell out, and this one this one seems you know they're gonna that's gonna sell out quickly. It's the only one on shelf too. Uh, except for the ones up there. But they're, they're still gonna sell out. So again, I did not pick up anything at Box Lunch, but I did pick up a really cool Avatar The Last Airbender shirt at Box Lunch. So, kind of a win. We're back. Um, how was your experience? My experience was freaking awesome. I completed one of my sets, which you guys will see the two pieces that I got to complete that set later. And I picked up two characters, my very first ever Soda Funko Pops. I got Eleven. We both did. And I got Vin's Fortho from Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters movie. So I'm really excited to see what, if any of these are chases. I actually got two of each. Before we get to that, uh, Box Lunch, I just wanted to show this off real quick. Um, so I got a... Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender shirt, so that's pretty cool, and I got $5 off, so win-win. So do you want me to go with this one first, because it's, I mean, it's already open, <laughs> um, or do you want to go with, the, I can open this one while you're opening that one. Sure, first thing I'm going to open is my 11, because that's actually the very first pop I ever wanted to get, so, or not pop, sorry, soda. <laughs> first pink pop I got, first, you're going to have to cut, jump to cut this. It's fine. The very first soda I'm going to open here is my 11, because this is actually the very first soda I wanted to get. So I was really proud and very happy to be able to find it. It took some hunting, but I found it at, uh, at, the, uh, at the convention at, uh, at FunkoCon. Um, mine first one is Roger Rabbit right there. It is opened, uh, which Robert Rad Roger Rabbit, I, I, I didn't really care if it was the, uh, <laughs> the actual <laughs> chase or not. But his, his, uh... Mine are all sealed. Mine's not in a black bag, All right, so. here comes my first ever soda opening. And my pog is... Just the Common. But I think it's cool enough, and it's my first one, so I'm gonna open it. Just because I can. Here's mine, it's the Common. <laughs> Roger Rabbit there. I really like that. Like, and here is my comment 11. Oh, that's a cool Roger Rabbit. Yeah, right? I wish I could do his voice. Pretty cool right there. Now 11's going back in her sleeping bag. <laughs> my second 11. Let's see if we can get a chase off of this one. These are actually a lot easier, by the way, for those of you who have not uh, gotten or opened um, sodas before. Um, these are actually a lot easier to unravel the plastic on there than I thought they would yeah, to open I, these. I, I was actually, that. you know, I watch the videos from time, you know, all the time on soda this, soda that, and here's sodas and here's sodas, and you know, it looks like it's having a hard time, and it's really not. It, actually, that came off pretty easy. Are, are you gonna look at the the pog or I'm gonna look at the pog first. I'm gonna look at the pog first. Okay. All right, and my second one is Come just on. the common. My next soda is Sorcerer Mickey, and uh, yeah, it should be an interesting one. Ooh, that is super easy. Ooh, that pop. Well, it is a soda pop. Really? I'm not gonna look at it. I wanna be surprised. Oh gosh. Hold on, hold on, don't look at it. I'm not. Ah, oh, common. Just the common. I really like that. One of 12,500 people. I really like that though. That's a nice one. I mean, I mean, I'm a little disappointed, but like, it's it's still nice. I All right, now my Vince Clortho is the other one I got. And if you guys remember Vince Clortho from the original Ghostbusters movie, 
And my first Vince is just the common. One of 10,500 pieces. This is freaking awesome. The detail on this guy is just freaking insane. The helmet, he's got the pizza rubbing against his face and the jar of well, popcorn. How, how, how long are these? Like three inches? Um, I think they're, like two they're pretty two, big. Two and a half, three inches, yeah. I got uh, Maleficent, the evil queen herself from Sleeping Beauty. Very cool. So. Can I do pogs? No, I want to be surprised. All right, while he opens I that, can't open. while he works to open that, my second Vince is also just the chase. Sorry, Common. just the <laughs> I don't even know what the chase is. Uh, she has flames on her back. Oh, okay. You mean like this one? Dang! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we found a chase! That was a nice one. One of 2,500. Yo. Leave it to John to get the chase. That is beautifully done. Funko, you did an outstanding job on Maleficent. So, I ordered the other day. Uh, last week, I actually placed an order from Target, and it actually arrived. Did not get canceled, which is freaking awesome. Thank you, Target. For a pop and tea combo. And this is actually one of the pops that I needed, and the only way I could get it was from the pop and tea combo. So, like, it's packaged well, which is awesome. I'm just really glad that... Target did not cancel this, because as you guys know, Target is notorious for canceling orders, whether it be pop or anything else. To be honest, it's better packaged than uh, Amazon. <laughs> so here's the uh, pop and tea box with the pop and tea pictured on the back. And the pop in question is the Target exclusive mini puffed glow in the dark with his head on fire. So that's really awesome. I really do like that shirt though. This really is a cool shirt. Mini puffs. See, that would have been a really cool shirt to wear at, at the movie for Ghostbusters Afterlife. It really would have. Oh, um, my first pop that I got from Funcon. It was five bucks. I couldn't really pass it up, whatever. Uh, so my friend Angel, she calls me Pickles. And I, I, this is from Wetmore Forest, uh, and they have like monsters, but I, I thought it was like a really fun, you know, gesture because she does call me Pickles. I did pick up uh, the Zuko uh, Glow in the Dark um, Funko Pop from Avatar The Last Airbender. Very cool. Don't have this one. Um, I'm a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan. Uh, my next pop that I got was Bane from Batman the Animated Series. I'm starting to collect these. Um, and I kind of wish they had a lot more Batman the Animated Series. I didn't see any other ones except for Bane. So this is probably my most expensive pop pickup. I went with the Funko Hollywood exclusive Chester Cheetah, and he is holding a pack of, uh, or a pouch of um, Cheetos. And the first one that I picked up today was Eleven in her red street clothes. I don't think they should call her Eleven clothes. after making 20-something Elevens. <laughs> no, they need to upgrade her to 20. <laughs> 22 if you got the chase in common for the sodas. Um, and the other one was the Amazon exclusive 11 in the yellow outfit. So I now have all 20 regular pops. And the only one I'm missing now is the chase for the soda. But my sister is a huge fan of The Office. So I picked her up a uh, Funko limited edition Dwight Schrute as Pam Beasley 
Funko Pop. Oh, it's a Funko Shop exclusive. Okay. And because my sister at one time back in the 90s was actually friends with Rafiki from the original Lion King show at Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom here in Orlando, Florida. As a surprise to her that she does not know about, I picked up a Rafiki Funko Pop. That's a really good pickup, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I picked up my mini pup with lighter. I wanted to pick up two of these, but I just wasn't able to find a second one. Um, because I actually have a scene that I want to set up with these guys at home. Uh, where of course you the are. mini pup with lighter is actually going to be taken out of the box. This one may or may not be out of the box, I'm not sure. The guy who is the mini pup with lighter, next to the guy, my common, of the mini puffed on fire, which I have at home, and it's gonna look like the the mini puffed with his lighter is lighting on fire the mini puffed with his fire on his head. So I decided I was gonna set up that scene. But here is my mini puffed with cocktail umbrella. Can you tell I went pop, went uh, pop shopping today? Here's my mini puffed with the cocktail umbrella, which I <clears throat> got a Tandro Kamado from Demon Slayer. Because I decided I was going to start collecting this line because I'm starting to get back into Demon Slayer. I did see the whole series once, but but the other one that John, when I saw it, completely flipped out and wondered why I had it. Because I told him I got a Tanjiro and a Nezuko. Was the mini Nezuko coming out of the box. Or into the box, depending how you look at it. So I got her. I'm probably going to take her out of box when I get home. So I kind of bought a little surprise for DJ here. Um... You've probably been looking, not looking, but you wanted to buy these as a set? As a set? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Dude! <laughs> I never thought in a million years that I would own a Bill and Ted. Both are absolutely excellent. And I thank you so much for that, John. You rock. Definitely wasn't seeing that coming. No, no. I was trying to think. Set. What set is he talking? What set? I'm like, I'm, I'm like the Jaws set. Like, what? What are you talking about? What set? And I thought, well, maybe he found the pups that I didn't. <laughs> but he and I were in were in touch all day, and I didn't get a chance to tell him which pups uh, which pups I got. So I also have a uh, video that I'm going to be putting together, a short video. Uh, I'm going to be putting together of um, my own that I took at the convention, um, and we'll try to link that in the in the description below. Uh, anyway. I uh, hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Like always, see you real soon. Bye. <laughs>